Alrighty, so I have a construction update for you guys today, or I guess a pre-construction update for you guys on Elpen, um, which is a really interesting topic of discussion. It was actually a part of the seven-part series that I'm working on, so I might as well just all do it together. Um, but in yesterday's video, it was brought to my attention that I threw this up on the screen and did not even describe to you guys what I was doing with these measurements. Um, so this is a this is a document that I didn't make. Um, this is a document that is um, something that Wonderland and every company um, in Canada has to do when they're surveying. Um, so these are surveying points. And basically, I drew up measurements um, for launches that would go from where I think the station would be located. And uh, it would either launch out of the left side or the right side. And depending on which, there are the lengths. Um, based off of these lengths and knowing that Thunderbirds is about 60 meters um, in length for the launch, launching out of the right side of that thing at 118 meters seems about right. It would be taller than Thunderbirds, so it would need a lot more um, length to, to launch. And it would also, I would assume, hopefully, fingers crossed, have a pre-show um, building f before the launch so that as well so this is kind of what I just drew up those are the meanings behind those two lines with the measurements on them so I just wanted to explain those in detail I can't believe I forgot to say that in the video sometimes I get so excited I just like kind of rant and ramble and forget about the main point of the video well some new survey markings the 800 so now we are looking for 800s in Wonderland I've noticed that all the codes are numbered and match so 800s is a specific project so um, these survey markings, I've come to the conclusion, are for the themed area Elpen. Um, so it looks like, and this is just an assumption by me at the current moment, but I have heard rumblings, a few things which I'll discuss in this video as well, that Elpen is going to get a refresh and kind of be brought back to life at Canada's Wonderland. Right now, it is half of what it used to be, and it is almost in decay. It doesn't necessarily make sense, and it kind of is sloppy. So... I'm pretty excited that this has the possibility to be um, something that there is going to happen. Um, and uh, even furthermore, some of the rumors that I've heard is Grab and Go might be on its way out over the next couple years to make room for a little something. And that they're going to redo the Thunder Run station and actually put in an elevator and remove the exit ramp. Um, now, that is an assumption or a rumor, so please take that with a grain of salt. Um, but I have heard rumblings, and you've heard me tease a little bit that Thunder Run Station was going to get some rework, and that makes sense, especially if you're going to be launching a wing coaster or some sort of heavy B&M into the mountain. You're going to have to rework some of that structure, and maybe some of the current structure that's in there doesn't align with the newest project, so that could be a part of it as well. Um, so I'm really excited to see what's going to happen, but with the ruins themed coaster and the ruins themed section and Alpen getting a huge kind of like refresh, it's really exciting to see Canada's Wonderland so concentrated on enhancing the theming around the park. So I'm really excited to see what this is all going to lead to. Um, not quite sure of the year, so I was starting to think that Thunder Run was going to maybe get just a refresh for the 2024 season, and that made me think that, okay, they can easily slap on some um, theming and rework the station. It's not that hard of a job. But now that I see these survey markings popping up so late and that it looks to be a whole area refresh, I'm not so confident that this is going to be a 2024 um, project. So, I, I mean, it still could be because at the end of the day, it's very easy to just kind of go in there and demolition the, the, the station and kind of redo a new one. But also on top of that, if you're kind of going to add some other rides, like where the bumper cars are located, like you saw there, they surveyed that building, um, and maybe bring back some classics then it's going to require a lot more work, and that would have been announced. So I definitely am thinking that this could potentially be for the 2026 season. So we'll have to wait and see. And it also could be done in phases as well. I mean, look at Frontier Canada. They build one ride, and then they kind of build another the other year. So we could see that as well. One of the main topics of discussion that you're going to see continuously discussed, especially on the podcast and in vid videos, especially the seven-part series, is Canada's Wonderland seems to be going back to basics in terms of their original history. So we're seeing that in a lot of these original artist renderings with Thunder Run Station that could potentially be coming to life, um, Frontier Canada coming to life, and the World Expo 
um, potentially coming back to life as well. So Alpin, Frontier Canada, and World Expo all coming back to life is a really cool thing to be happening. And um, I'm kind of excited to see what Cedar Fair has uh, in stock for Canada's Wonderland because it's just a lot of attention to detail now. Um, so I'm really excited. Hopefully you guys are excited and uh, definitely be keeping your eyes on the Alpen area of the park. So we have so many areas we got to be watching now. You got to be watching Kingswood, um, the ruins area. I'm going to just refer to it as the ruins area from now on. So international show place. Um, Frontier Canada, even down the road, uh, and uh, the International Street um, and Front Gate. And yeah, it's just a lot of projects. So this is really exciting. I know that, you know, Wonderland gets a lot of slack for being kind of like, you know, one of the bigger parks in the Cedar Fair chain, but not a lot to love. So it's really exciting to see the transformation of a kind of like regional park to a destination park. And I mean, it's a lot of work up ahead. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to pay off. And I'm really excited to see what they do with our park. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.